Hello. So we are back. Tuesday. And this video is just a lesson. Yeah. Let's learn about the, uh, you know, fixing motherboards. It's one thing, you know, about uh, this channel. Yeah. I'm not doing really, really electronics. We are doing repairs. Doing repairs is not is 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 not a thing you can learn on a school. On a school, you can learn electronics, but not like uh, doing repairs. Actually, doing repairs you apply electronics. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of electronics, a little bit of experience. Yeah, and that's how they work. Uh, okay, first let's. I will take apologize for the last video. Remember the video with the power supply with this uh, varistor. So I confused this. I was thinking it's a capacitor, but it's not. Yeah, it's a varistor. Hopefully, it does the name. I spell it right. Let me explain you with the with the repair process. The repair process is a complex one. In time, yeah, I'm speaking on time. On in time, if you are a beginner, you will check every part, every component. Yeah? You have an issue, you start checking each component. Going on time, getting, uh, let's say, more, uh, you know, you get a baggage of experience. When you fix something, like 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 that power supply, yeah. When you try to diagnose, because the the, the di diagnose process is the is the you know the longest one. Actually, it's, it's taking more time compared with the repair process. You start ignoring whatever is not necessary on that circuit, yeah? Like I did with that barista. Or, you know, it can be a capacitor, it can be, you know, if it's not necessary, you will ignore it. It's not because you want, it's just because you get used on time, yeah? So, just leave on one side you know the components it's when you see the power supply okay i see the power supply i know it's a primary problem so all what i want i want to be there high voltage and that was missing you know the high voltage is missing okay the rectifier bridge is no shorter the fuse is burned okay so that's that's the, how the the, the 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 process you know the, how the process is going on you start ignoring like you have a capacitor you have a uh, uh, what what do we, we we had there um, that coil uh, you know things you start to ignore them so your problem you are actually your problem you don't have voltage there and you know that voltage is coming from the rectifier bridge and from the rectifier bridge is coming straight from the plug through some components which you do you don't care about them yeah so that that's the problem so I ignore that uh, uh, this varistor which I I was thinking it's a capacitor. Anyway, let's start with this, yeah? This is a laptop. This was booked in. No power, yeah? Even the laptop repairs, you'll not learn them on school, yeah? So, it's coming probably with the, doing practice. Practicing a lot. Applying a little bit of electronics, yeah? A little bit more. Let's say that. So, with this laptop, yeah, no power. No power, let's check. Let's plug the charger. Let me find a charger. I just give you an example. They will not teach you in school. Look, we have a laptop with, um, let's say, a graphic issue. Yeah? That's the funny one. Yeah. I got a lot of critics about the, you know, the graphic things. So what you will do, there, there, there is more, there, there is more, compared even with the electronic, it's more, it's a moral thing, yeah? So you know you can just, you know, heat up the, the graphic chip and you can fix it and it can work like one day or maybe one year, maybe five years, you don't know yet. But what you will do, that's the thing, the right things to do. Some people can just lie, yeah, it's fine, we can fix it and, yeah? Some not. They will say, no, I'm really sorry, I'm not, I will not even start this job because I know, you know, it will not be professional and some people like me it will just give you know I can't say no it is, from my point of view it's not professional to say no to a job which you know you can do it yeah I'll just pass the responsibility to the customer 
and I'm 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 fine. I'm, I can sleep very well at the night. Yeah, I just pass the responsibility. So you explain to the customer, look, it's a risky job. I can't give you warranty. So you have to de decide if you want to pay this money. You know, it's like a gamble thing. Can work one day, can work one year, two years, five years. So I just pass the responsibility, and everyone is happy. Okay. So let's see this one. Plug in the charger. Let me find a power cable. Give me one second, one second. Okay, to start the window jobs. Yeah? Yeah, the boat, the laptop and the desktop. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's check the charger first. We have the voltmeter on screen. And my screen goes off. Why my screen goes off? Well, we have 19.6. You can see that, 19.6. Let's plug the charge. Plug in the charger. Pressing the power button, nothing. The charging light here, we have no charging light and no power on light. Okay, so the thing is like, let's say you are sick, you go to the doctor. They say, Look, doctor, I have a pain here. And the doctor cannot say, like, you know, I have to cut it, yeah, to see what the, what the problem is. Same with the laptop. You have no power, okay, I understand that. But you can't really open the laptop just to find out the problem. I mean on the on the diagnostic part, yeah? So let's try and figure it out. First, let's check the charger again. I did check the laptop before. I, did, I, I haven't opened the laptop, but I did check it. So the charger is fine, 19.6. I think we checked the charger before, yeah? Let's let's try before opening the laptop. Let's try to find the problem. But with the with the with the charger. Yeah again. I just want to you know mark this. You can't see anything. Yeah? You are blind. You can't see what's going on here. What happened with your how much current is taking? How much you know it's it, it's a shorter. I don't know what happened inside. And I don't want to open the laptop. Yeah, I want to find out from before. For that thing, let's get the power supply, 19 volts. Yeah, 19 volts. We have a limit of... Limit of, let's set up the limit 2 amps. Now you can see the power supply there on top, yeah? So the limit is 2 amps. Going on the charging port, this is an Acer laptop, it's a simple charging port, you have middle pin and ground, you can use ground from uh, any metal thing, yeah, like let's say this, HDMI port, I'm using the ground, ground is everywhere, and plus on the middle, yeah, check on the power supply, yeah, so what do we have there? It's all the, it's, it's, the, the power supply is limited to 2 amps and the voltage dropped to 2.2 volts. Yeah? From 19, it's dropping to 2.2, which is normal because it's a current limit. Yeah? So it's not short like that. 
to be zero volts yeah just ignore the amps there is a limit it's two amps yeah so it's not like that it's concentrate on the voltage because the voltage is the result of the 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 short resistance yeah with the uh, with the current okay so we have like 2.2 volts so what does mean does mean it is a short but also I have some resistance there okay so let's try yeah to draw this schematic quickly quickly yeah quickly so what do we have here we have the charging port so the charging port is here okay I need something to to draw one second yeah that should be fine so the charging port is here here so on the charging board we have plus plus and minus and that's your charging port here yeah that's your charging port and my minus is ground yeah minus is everywhere ignore the ground plus which is going first on your first and second MOSFET I remember last video when I done a motherboard job someone asked how do you know if it's channel P is channel N it is very simple it's based on the configuration on one side you have four pins together on one side you have three pins and uh, and the gate okay uh, okay so what do we have here we have the first MOSFET you know what I try to make you ignore in fact the, the fact it's a MOSFET there just think it's a switch it's more simple yeah so there is a MOSFET you have four pins on one side and uh, yeah four pins and you have three pins here and one gate gate and these three pins can go on the same configuration MOSFET no 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 not on the same one you'll go probably on the channel channel uh, P MOSFET okay on the channel P you have three pins on one side and gate yeah and four pins on the other side and from here you have a current resistor current sensor very low ohms 0, 0.0 something and from here it's your your 19 volts power rail yeah so here you have 19 volts after these switches I will make them like that yeah because they are doing nothing else than switch yeah they are not like uh, fast switching or they are just switches yeah like normal switches that's many times you see me removing the MOSFET and short them with a with a, with a wire the people say no you took the MOSFET out and now the laptop doesn't have protection you can start a fire okay this laptop probably was never open yeah you have we have a shorter but also the short is here so that's that's mean the MOSFET they are not doing the job which is meant to do it like protecting the the charger so now the motherboard is shorted and also the charging port is shorter so if, we, if I plug the charger it's a shorter so it's, it's kind of pointless but anyway that's the basic of schematic of, of any laptop like 99% you'll see something like that and from here what what the people ask on the last video not not they didn't ask was a, re a rhetoric question say look if you do something like that the battery will not charge yeah give me one second one second The charging have nothing to do with this input circuit yeah so basically from here you have 19 obviously 
the, the, it, it's it's a probably it's a management ch a chip here, the power management chip. Who want, want to know exactly what power goes through the uh, on the main power line? Yeah, but just ignore these facts. Just ignore them. Yeah. Then from here you have your main 90 volts power rail, which also is going to the battery, most likely from a MOSFET. Yeah. Is going one of from on, one to the battery. No one to the. Uh, depends of the of the age of the laptop. Usually, it's going to a switching power supply to charge the battery, and it's coming back from the battery through a MOSFET here. Yeah, on the same point. But anyway, from here, you have your main 90 volts power rail, which is going to 3.3 volts. Is going to 5 volts. You can have another 3.3, the the big one. You have the the CPU power supply. You have the graphics, yeah. You have the RAM memory. You have a lot of power supplies, but all are together. So what do I know? I know my short is now here. Because if you will be here, I will have zero volts on the power supply. So my short is a little bit more far. It's a little bit of resist resistance there. So I believe my short is somewhere here on one of these power supplies. They all have, they all have around two free capacitors connected to ground. So each one, they have capacitors connected to ground. It is a case when uh, let's say in a case like that and when it's not a capacitor shorter so that's what i expect a shorter capacitor can be let's say cpu because most likely can happen only on cpu on the high side mosfet to be shorted because the cpu internal resistance is around four five six ohms yes but even if, if this high mosfet is shorted it will not be what we check here with 2 amps on the voltage will be like 2 volts it will be like 5, 6 volts yeah so that's how I know it's not a high side MOSFET shorted but it's a capacitor on the main power rail yeah so let's open the laptop and try and fix it too much theory okay So I haven't opened the laptop, I don't know nothing what is inside. But I just try to make you understand a few things. Because I, I always read, always. And I try to, you know, on the next video, try to answer on the questions. So let's see, let's see. It should be a quick job. Are a lot. It's not I'm doing only videos about short and that, that's that's what is coming. Is the most common fault. Keep in mind, you know, try to get from this channel what you what you think is right for you. Otherwise, you know, just ignore me. I can be wrong. Or what is working for me, maybe is not working for you. Yeah? Okay. Okay.
Let's try to fix it quickly, yeah. All the screws are out. Oh. Let's see, let's take out the keyboard. Yes, so the keyboard is out. We have a few more screws. Let's open them. Now let's see what can be here. Because obviously I'm curious, same as you. What can be the problem? I think there is a problem with the hinge. So all screws are out. Okay, are out. The ribbon cables. This, this, let's see if we can open. Yes. Okay, so we have some liquid damage. Look, marks here. Like, oh, okay, this time is not a capacitor. <laughs> Let me power up the microscope. Okay. So what do you think about this? So I'm I'm not sure if this is part of a switching power supply or is my input two MOSFETs. These are the MOSFETs from the input from the charging port. Because if it's a switching power supply, no, nah, it's not the input. The input is here. Okay. Now let me check with the multimeter. Let's get the multimeter. And I said, I, I said, can be a capacitor. Let's see what's going on here still. Yeah. So we were on the diode mode, that's minus, that's plus, plus is coming on the first MOSFET, which is normal. No, plus is not coming here. It's going probably on the other side. Wait, no, this is plus. It is coming here. Let's check with the ground. This is the output of the first MOSFET and it's short to ground. So this is the output. Okay, this is confusing because the output should be here after the current sensor and it's not short to ground. Hmm. 
So the current sensor is coming from the plus. What? Wait, I'm confused. Let me check from the charging port. So let's start from the middle pin of the charging port. And it's not coming here. Okay, I was wrong. So what's this connector? Oh, this is the battery connector. Sorry, I was wrong. So the plus, let's see, it's coming here. Yes, it's coming here. That's shorted clearly. Here is not short. Let's check with ground, yeah? Ground. That's the output of the second MOSFET and it is short, yeah? Just ignore this MOSFET. The laptop will work fine with that MOSFET blow up because it's shorted, yeah? So you remember? What will happen if this, mo this MOSFET is blow up? What will happen if it's shorted? Nothing. It will work fine. So the, the, the voltage from the charging port, the current, will pass the first MOSFET or the second MOSFET and here I will have 19. So that's not our problem. Yeah? Yeah, it will be one pump per page, yeah? Thank you. So you understand, just ignore the fact it's blow up. That's not our problem. Can we blow up is fine. It's, that's not an issue. If I have 19 volts here, but here it's a short. Here we have like uh, 8 ohms to the ground, so it can be another issue. Let's check further, yeah? Let's see. So from the second MOSFET, from the output of the second, the first is blow up, the second is it's okay. From the output of the second MOSFET, let's come with the power supply, 19 volts. Huh, sorry, give me one second, I'm alone on the show. Okay, let's come with the power supply, 19 volts, ground, and let's come after the second MOSFET. After the second MOSFET, it's a short. And the short is not here. We can have some surprises to not be a capacitor. So that's the output of the second MOSFET. I need a ground. Let's see. Anything is getting hot? If it's a capacitor, based on the fact, uh, once, give me one second, one second. Okay, based on the voltage, 1.4 volts, we have a capacitor with very high resistance, very high meaning like 2-3 ohms, or we do have a, a, MOS, a shorted MOSFET, yeah? Anyway, the short is not very shorted, like if, if you know what I mean. We do have like 1.3, we can calculate exactly the resistance, but time is too short. Yeah, probably something is getting very, very hot. Well, I can see some here, some marks of liquid damage. Something sweet, probably. Yeah, one second. Hmm. Give me one second. Thank you. S4, give me one second. So you have three pages. You need just one, you print three. Okay, okay. 
Okay, that's fine. Uh, give me one second. Sorry, one second. Okay, so I think we have to take out the motherboard because there's nothing getting hot here, and it's not much what you can do on a case like that. What you do, you remove everything from the main power rail to find the short? No, you can't do it. But again, our blow up MOSFET does not our problem, so we can just ignore him. Uh, Wi Fi card, okay, Wi Fi card. And what do we have more here? Uh, it's a connector, uh, probably the speaker connector. Okay, that's fine. So the motherboard is out. Good. It's looking fine, doesn't look like it's liquid damage on the other side. We don't need a charging port. Well, the charging port comes out anyway. That's the Wi Fi antenna. We don't really need them right now. Yeah? All what we need, the battery connector, we don't need this. All what we need, the motherboard. Let's take this out. So again, yeah. Let's come with the power. I can come straight on the current uh, resistor here. So you, you remember like how I draw the, the schematic? So from this current uh, resistor, we use our main 90 volts power rail, so we'll come with power here. And obviously it is short. Based on the, re on the, on the, on the voltage, so the resistance is, is high, that means something is getting mad hot, mad. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, I should buy a thermal camera, okay. I did burn my finger a little bit. So let's have a look together. Okay, here we can see some liquid damage sign. Huh? You see that capacitor? You can see it's cracked. That's gone. Uh, you can see it now, yeah? Yeah, that capacitor is gone. I told you it's a capacitor, yeah? But this area looks weird. So here is fine. Yeah, thank you. You can have one from there, yeah?
Okay, so this area looks very weird. And you know what? It looks like someone worked here inside. Or liquid damage, I don't know. Anyway, just let's remove that capacitor. Quickly. Because that was our problem, yeah? Let's get concentrate on our problem, not on the, the other... Uh, Problem. So we'll see after that what's going on with the liquid damage, but at the moment my problem is this capacitor. Come on. So that's my problem. Let's check now the power uh, the power line here. Yeah? Same place, power supply, 19 volts, ground and plus here and it's not short sure. you can see on the power supply it's taking like 10 milliamps it's not short anymore let's test it first and after that we can just clean you know resolder that chip and let's test it replace that blow up mosfet but it should work fine for the moment so what do we need we need the screen connector and that's all yeah that's all. Now we can plug the charger. Yeah, we can plug the charger. There is a charging port. Because it's not short anymore. And I can try to power up the board. Let's see. This two. No, this. Maybe not. Okay. Next step. So it's not working. It's not coming. Only have 19. Let's check with the multimeter. Do we have 19 on the main power rail? Ground. Volts. You can see the power supplies here. So you can check on the capacitors. If you have 19. And we do have 19. You can see on the screen 19.6. Okay, next step, check 3.3. The easy way to check 3.3 is on the power button. Okay, for some reason my screen is going off. Volts. Again. Okay, let's check. On the power button, we have... We do have 3.1 3 here. We have only one 3.1 volts there. Let's check the 3 volts on the Super I.O. It's a Nuvoton Super I.O. Let's see, do we have any cap here around? One point eight. What? Maybe I'm checking on the wrong one. Three point three. Check on the screen. Three point three volts. So we do have three point three. Let's connect the screen. Uh, the the power button because maybe I'm wrong and uh, I'm not touching the right wires here and we have blue light power on light let's see if the screen is coming on No, the screen is not coming on. Okay, so the laptop, the board is coming, go, goes off. Okay.
Yeah, so we have more problems here. Good. Now we can check about this liquid damage. So we have 19, we have 3.3. Now the things get complicated. When well, actually it's working, but it's not working. Okay, let's see what this chip is doing. Probably this chip is doing is the power supply of the RAM memory. Hmm? What do you think? Let's try. Let's plug the charger. We need, we need the power button here. Let's see where, where we can check the the RAM, the RAM is here. Okay, let's press the power button. Take quickly this out. And test the, the RAM uh, voltage. Okay, the board is still on. You can see the LED here. But I can't see any volt. I don't know what's wrong with my multimeter. We do have 1.5. 1.5 volts on the ramp. So we do have volt. We, we have voltage. 1.5. But the board is on right now. Okay, let's plug the, the screen. Let's plug the screen. Yeah. Let's plug the charger. Let's power up the laptop short with the ground, the 3.3. Uh, yeah, the board is on. You can see the LED. And the laptop is working. So what do I think happened? I think the BIOS was reset, and uh, that's the reason why the, the board comes on and goes off. Because I can't see any other explanation. You can see the board is working, the laptop is on. What about my MOSFET? You know the blow up one? I'm sure that people say, oh, we will not charge. No, the charging have nothing to do. The charge, you have this MOSFET and you have one. Uh, no, you have two, these two MOSFETs from here, one, two. You have the coil on the other side. So these two, they are charging the battery and the voltage is coming back through this MOSFET. This big one from here. Yeah, that's how the, the, the battery circuit is working. So one more time, let's check with the multimeter. Ah, yes? Give me one second. Give me one second. Okay. So one more time. On the blow-up MOSFET, we have on the input... Why my screen goes off? Probably it's a dodgy charger. Uh, input of the MOSFET we have 19. On the output of the blow up MOSFET we have 19. On the input on the second MOSFET we have 19. On the output of the second MOSFET we have 19. So these MOSFETs are doing nothing, are just switches. Yeah. So even if I would remove them and I would put wires, it's not a good idea. Because the first MOSFET is protecting the board against uh, is protecting the charger against board circuit so short circuit the second mosfet is keeping the battery voltage inside yeah so if you short the second mosfet you'll find uh, it will work fine but you will find voltage on the charging port you'll find voltage let's say you take out the charger and you short the charging port 
nothing will happen because even the battery inside has a board uh, with protections yeah nothing will happen but it will be vo voltage there okay so the laptop is fine the fan is spinning we still have the operating system not found what i will do next but that will be long yeah so i will stop this video but i will check that area which is damaged and i will clean the board because i can see some liquid damage and uh, yeah oh sorry and obviously i will replace this blow up uh, mosfet probably that's the reason why uh, uh, the mosfet didn't protect the charger and the, so we seen this the short from uh, from the charging port. Even if with a good MOSFET it will happen the same. So the short, you will see the short from the charging port. Yeah? Good. So I think I've reached my points on understanding how the motherboards, the laptop motherboards are working. Keep in mind, that's, that's, that's my thing, keep in mind, like how I told you from the beginning, look, the shirt is not here. It's somewhere far, and most likely it's on, on our main uh, main power rail. So we know the shirt is not here, because if it if was the shirt here, it would be 0 volts on the power supply and 0 amps. But we did have like 2.5 volts, that means my shirt is far, far is meaning here, on the... On the main power rail, yeah. So one of the capacitor, which is the RAM one, was shorter. Okay. We remove that cap. You can replace that cap. It's fine. But anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Bye.